Another MTA construction project that was depending on congestion pricing for funding is now on hold. This one, accessibility improvements at Long Island Railroad stations in Queens. Now, disability advocates are saying it's time for the MTA to rethink its priorities. CBS 2's L. McLogan covers Queens and takes us to Forest Hills. For Delva Summers, getting around the city comes with setbacks. When you're traveling and you see a staircase like this, what goes through your mind? Delayed. She has a neurological disorder affecting her balance. It may take you one minute to get up there. It's it will take me five minutes to get up there. And within that five minutes, but my train, I'm, I will miss my train. At Forest Hills Station near her office, a ramp's incline is hard on her ankles. She says an elevator would be transformative. The station was set to begin ADA compliance upgrades when the governor hit pause on congestion pricing. There's a map in the presentation. So At a recent board meeting, the MTA announced deferrals at 23 subway stations with stop work orders issued at Hollis and Forest Hills LIRR. But I also have to say, um, this is like a very disturbing presentation. Accessibility impacts break my heart, but we can make sure that they are ready to go when the funding shows up. In a historic ADA settlement, the MTA committed to maximum subway compliance with comprehensive elevator access by 2055. The deal, however, came with a caveat. Upgrades will continue only with funding. Many, many advocates are, are, are worried that they will use the fact that there's a pause to not fulfill the settlement agreement. Now accessibility is ranked lower priority by the MTA. I would like to see money given specifically for accessibility. I would like to see earmarks for the elevator access um, because I think that's the only way we're gonna get it done. Delva Summers is holding out hope for an elevator. Condition pricing would help to solve that problem. In Queens, Elle McLogan, CBS 2 News. And Elle is our community reporter covering Queens. If you have a story idea for her, you can email queenstip at cbs.com.